Good evening, Madam Mayor, members That's of the council. Uh, yes, it is slightly different than it was last year. Uh, <laughs> every year at this time, we need to address our corporate limits under state statutes. Uh, in those years where we do not have an annexation occurring, then we just recognize that there has not been a change. Uh, this year, uh, there was a change. Change occurred with the annexation of the Thompson properties uh, in the southeast quadrant of the city related to the Ridgeview Estates number two subdivision. So you'll see it down in this bottom right hand corner of the screen, right about in here. And I will pull that in just a little bit. So the hatched area uh, cross hatched in both directions which is the extent of the Ridgeview number two subdivision uh, boundary was annexed by the city during 2012. And so with that, we need to modify our corporate limits legal description. And that is the uh, new legal description that is part of the draft ordinance uh, that is in your packet this evening uh, for your consideration. Uh, I should mention with this annexation uh, being done the way it was, uh, there is a county pocket right here that was left. I believe it's two or three parcels, um, single family residential parcels uh, that were not annexed at the time uh, that the Ridgeview Estates 2 section was annexed into the city. Uh, that is, of course, contrary to our own uh, city policy pertaining to county islands and something that I would anticipate we would be addressing at some point in the future but not an issue this evening. So the um, legal description that is in the ordinance uh, reflects the addition of the Thompson property into the city limits. And that is uh, what is before you for consideration this evening. Okay, thank you, Les. Uh, let's see, we, I understand that the Public Works Finance Committee uh, took a look at this on November 26th. We're the only ones that have been working. <laughs> there you are. Thanks, Jim. Working hard. Yes, we did. And uh, just as Les presented it. Jim, can I, can I throw one thing in real quick that you need to say? We're the only ones working, but who from the admin had to sit in on it because some of the public works and finance wasn't there? Thank you. Thank you. I just, just had to throw No, thank you. You're welcome. In, in November? Yeah, that's right. Sorry. This was the one in November. Go ahead. This was the one in November. Uh, no, on? Nothing to add. Nothing uh, to add. Les presented it. Uh, they were... I was there. Very few questions, and uh, it was uh, passed by Public Works to come for the full council. Okay, and this is not a public hearing, but uh, I would invite anybody who was here to come <laughs> forward and comment, but there is no one here to come we forward and comment. Yeah. So, uh, council members of the discussion, Dan? I would like to make a motion that we uh, adopt the uh, ordinance establishing and declaring the corporate limits of the city of Moscow, Lata County, Idaho, under suspension of the rules requiring three separate readings. And that, that be read, I want to say completely, but that would be honorary <laughs> by title and published by summary. <laughs> second. All right, Dan's motion and Tim's second. Any discussion? Hearing none, we'll start this roll call vote with you, Sue. Aye. 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 Okay. We have ordinance number 2013-01, I guess that one, an ordinance amending ordinance number 2010-01 of the City of Moscow, Idaho, establishing and declaring in this ordinance corporate city limits, uh, corporate limits of the City of Moscow, Lata County, Idaho, in accordance with the provisions of the laws of the State of Idaho relating to the establishment of boundaries and the annexation of adjacent and contiguous territory, providing for repeal of any other ordinances or parts of ordinances in conflict therewith, providing a severance and savings clause, and for the effective date of this ordinance. 